Hey everyone, my name is Mitch Dyer. This is Leah B. Jackson. Hello. Leah, we got to see No Man's Sky in action. We saw a live demo. What was more, what was more interesting to me was the tools that kind of let the procedural generated world come to life. Tell me more about that. The tools are really cool in No Man's Sky. It basically allows the developers to randomly generate anything in the world. So yeah. there are basically infinite amount of trees or creatures or yeah, your tall trees, your droopy trees, right? Your you know, different blue different, trees. Yeah, different colors, different types, different textures, sort of. Yeah. Um, different spaceships. I mean, there are all different types of creatures and things that, that can be in every single planet in the in the world. And they're all in the, the planets in the universe. And they'll all be really different from one another. It doesn't seem like you'll see the same thing twice. Yeah, I don't really understand the math of it all. Like it's a weird programming thing. <laughs> like Sean Murray is on another level at yeah. Hello Games. But it, it allows him to do incredible things where with the touch of a button, it literally just generates dozens and right. dozens of new, completely distinct objects. One of the things that was really cool was that you can sort of change the um, the angle that you see the, yeah. the creatures or whatever it is that you're looking at. So, you know, if you don't particularly like the angle of one spaceship, then you can change it and, you know, see 20 different spaceships at that angle, yeah. you know, so that you can see exactly what you're looking for. And I thought that was really, really yeah. neat. Yeah, and it, it's, it just goes to show the depth of this game. I mean, it, it is incredibly ambitious. They say constantly that No Man's Sky is an infinite game. It will never end. Yeah. Limitless planets, limitless <laughs> possibilities. And so far, what we've seen with this, it, that seems like it could be the case. My major concern right now is that there's not much of a game in there right now. Right, we didn't get to fine. see much um, right. other than the tool set today. But I yeah. mean, I thought that it was it was impressive. I want to see more though. I mean, what yeah. do you want to see from it eventually? Right, like I would be totally fine if this game were, you know, like a just explore the universe, catalog animals and plants and yeah. minerals and just like discover stuff. Uh, but they're adamant that's not what this is. There is like ground combat. There is stuff to do. There is, mm -hmm. you know, progression kind of, sort of. Yeah, and they're not showing it or telling us anything about mm -hmm. it. So I'm kind of wondering like, what is going to happen in this space? And I, I would love to see. I mean, I've played a lot of Rust, so I am huge into the idea of player-created emergent stories of like, okay, I'm on a world. What happens when I come into contact with another human player? Mm -hmm. That kind of like there are really great possibilities there. S possibilities that are as interesting to me as randomly generated places <laughs> in the universe. Right. Yeah. I mean, I it'll be interesting to see how this one shapes up. I'm not sure how it's going to do that, but yeah. I mean, we'll see next year hopefully more. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be covering No Man's Sky <laughs> for who knows how long <laughs> as this thing uh, proceeds along development. So for all that and more, stay tuned to IGN.